On this day in 1947, the U.S. Congress investigates Reds in Hollywood. The notorious Reds gay kicks into high gear in Washington as the Congressional Committee begins investigating communist influence in one of the world's richest and most glamorous communities, Hollywood. On this day in 1944, General Douglas MacArthur wades ashore into the Philippines island of Dad and makes good on his promise. When he was forced to leave in 1942, he said, I shall return. And he did. On this day in 1968, 21-year-old Dick Fosbury wins gold and sets an Olympic record at the Mexico City Games with a high jump of 7 feet, 4 and a quarter inches. It is also the international debut of, Fos of Fosbury's unique jumping style known as the Fosbury Flop. Bert Lancaster, a Hollywood leading man with some 70 movies to his credit, dies of a heart attack at the age of 80 on this day in 1994. Ronnie Van Sand, Steve Gaines and Casey Gaines, members of the southern rock band Leonard Skinner, are killed in a plane crash on this day in 1977. The band will always be remembered for their smash hit, Sweet Home Alabama. On this day in 2011, Muhammad Gaddafi, the longest serving leader in Africa and the Arab world, is captured and killed by rebel forces near his hometown of Sirte. He was 69 years old. Bela Lugosi, the man that set the standard for movie vampires when he starred in the title role as Dracula in the 1931 film version of Bram Stoker's famous book, was born on this day in 1882. Former South African cricket player Alan Donnell was born on this day in 1966. Regarded as one of the world's best fast bowlers, he took 330 chess wickets and 272 one-day wickets, earning him the nickname White Lightning. And finally, Slavkin model and Slavkin's first Victoria's Secrets model, Candace Swanepoel, was born on this day in 1988 in Moy River, KwaZulu-Natal. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.